you probably remember at first I was telling you that this was Changing Education Together 2.0. I was kind of kidding, but then it's true, because this is 2.0 in that we started at a point in time where the reason behind the Changing Education Together program was built upon something that was having a tremendous impact on us, and that was the frontal reject by many schools and many areas on what mobile was and uh, technologies were. And this is why we came about with this type of seminars in order to disseminate things, because it's not the problem lies not in the technology but in its use. And I'd like to thank Ferran Ries, he's back with us, in that back then he was the Catalan Minister of Education. And so we eventually were able to publish these guidelines. That, and we were even asked to translate this into English so for international use. But then we thought that that might not be enough. Yet we moved on and holding this type of meetings. But yet the demand by schools was different. They were asking us to support them, to bring about this digital transformation, which is not probably well understood, but yet we were being asked to help them out. And this was also forcing us to work differently and yet this all may sound well to you but then when you come back to your school tomorrow you will be facing these different things going around different ways different paths but how can you make sense out of it how can you lead if your very own paths are not that clear to me fortunately Within the Mobile World Capital program, we are working on this for some time. We have been working on it, not on an educational setting, because we started working with companies, with institutions, with organizations that were concerned about these, that was having such an impact as it is to you, just like Janice and Carlos were saying, with different impacts, different outcomes, but yet uh, uh, truth remains the same. And this is why we came up with a going digital program to work along with these companies and coaching them into creating some discussion spaces on this transformation. So what we have been doing is to see how we could adapt the going digital program onto the educational setting. We are still working on that, that's a working progress, but our proposal to you is that we will be working along with you and we invite you to join in in what we call these working meetings that will be starting on April where we will be helping you on some general topics that we believe require some further discussion on how we can approach them and how we can help you in um, bringing about the digital transformation. First, we will be looking into this topic, leadership and strategy. And so our assumption is that by April, we will have a first meeting open up to you all so that you can come and find a space for discussion uh, with experts attending from other areas and so that we can bring things the back into reality. We will be working on some other topics as well. And in order to nail it down and to incentivize you into introducing things, I came up with this flowchart. I know that this is no complex uh, tree decision decision making tree. So please take a picture. Feel free to use it, uh, incorporate it, and 